I'm going to teach you how to make a paper crane. Did you know that it's considered good fortune to make a thousand paper cranes? I'm working on it. The first step in making a paper crane is to start with a square piece of paper, such as this one. And you start with the design, if you have a design on it, facing up. If you just have regular paper, no big deal. Just pick a side. So design facing up, and we start by folding corner to corner. And it's important when making the fold to make them nice and tight. <laughs> and we actually don't leave it folded, so fold it corner to corner that way, and then crisscross so that it's corner to corner the other way, and unfold. And then you have an X going across. Next, you flip it over so the white side or the side that you don't want on the outside is facing up. And we're going to fold it again, once again, just making creases and unfolding so that it's more like a T straight across. Now that we have those folds, what we do is sort of push it all in together so that it makes a smaller square where the sides are bent in like that. So now we have a smaller square. With this smaller square, part of it is attached and part of it is open. So that's open, that's attached. So next we're gonna fold it so it looks a bit like a kite and we're gonna leave the part that's attached at the top of the kite. So we're gonna bring the corner in, just one at a time, so that it lines up with the crease in the middle. And this time we leave it folded. Same thing on this side bring that crease in and try not to overlap because later on that would cause problems. So do that. So you can see this part right here looks like a kite. Then you flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And make sure to make your folds nice and tight. Once you've done that, it looks like a kite. So that's just one of the steps. Next, we take the top part of the kite where it's connected, and we're going to fold it backwards and forwards just so we have a crease, and then unfold. So fold it down like that and then flip it the other direction just to make a crease. Like that. And then that unfolds. This next part's just a little bit tricky, so make sure you're paying attention. What we're going to do is start with one side of the kite, and we unfold it, so now it's that square, but it has the creases. And we open it up like this. And as you pull, you see that where the creases are, it's starting to fold in. So then what we do is just lay it down and tighten. So now it looks like a diamond on that one side. The other side's still folded, but what we've done to the first side, we're going to do to the next side. So we unfold right there and then flip this up. Right here, that top part of the kite, the triangle, you can hold that part to make sure that it stays nice and tight and push that up and the sides fold in. So then we just make that crease a bit tighter.
At this point you have a diamond. Part of it is closed and part of it, as you can see, is open. We're going to work with the part that's open. And what we do, you see that there's this fold and this other fold on each side. So we take one portion of it and we're going to fold it so it's just a skinnier kite. And once again, we fold it right up to that line in the middle, trying not to overlap and make the crease nice and tight. So you see this is now folded in. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. So now I have this skinny kite. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now I can see it's the same thing, a skinny kite, and this part is open at the bottom. So the next thing I'll do is I'll take these flaps at the top, and for each one I'm going to fold it down and make that crease and flip it around and fold it down so you should have the triangle coming out of the top. So I carefully fold it, make a nice tight crease, and I fold it on the other side, make a nice tight crease, and so right now this is what it looks like. I'll come back to that. Right now I'm just going to put these back up. Next I'm going to work with these skinny legs. They're not actually legs. It's going to end up being the um, neck and the tail of the paper crane. So I'm going to fold it up at an angle doesn't matter which direction you do because you will do it in both directions. So I've done this. Now I'm unfolding it and flipping it the opposite direction. I'm pinching tightly. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll fold it up this way. Unfold it, flip it the opposite direction and make that other crease. And then I bring it back down. So this next part is kind of tricky. If we're looking at the paper crane like this, we have the part where we just fold it back and forth. We're going to flip it and open. And what I'm going to do is push and fold this inside out. Now, mine overlapped a little, so it's a little tricky, but still, I'll just pinch it so that it's folded inside out. You can see right now it has a little bit of a curve to it. I'm not too worried about that. It'll either be the tail or the head, and I'll decide in a minute, depending on which side I like better. So after I've done that, I'll flip it to the other side. You see we have the part that's uh, still skinny and folded. I'm going to open it up flip it inside out by pushing up and then twisting in. At this point we're almost finished. As I look at this, I like the curve that this part has, so I want to have that as my tail. This part's rather straight. So the one of almost the final step is I just decide where I want the beak or the bill to be. So I fold this down and then I kind of fold it in and pinch and that becomes the head of the paper crane. This has the nice little curve so that's the tail and then I fold the wings down and pull it and there you have how to make a paper crane.